Okay, here we go. Time for another match. It's the last man standing match as Mickey Mouse takes on the Reaper. All right, here we go. Another escapade for Mickey Mouse here tonight as he takes on the Reaper. It's not been looking good for Mickey Mouse so far. He's taken on Aaron Storm, the Giant Herman, and Hardcore Hank. The Reaper, the latest opponent so far for Mickey Mouse. And it's not been looking good. A last man standing match is also a grueling endeavor. So not only is he going to be taking on someone who has held the VGIW Men's World Championship more than anyone else, but he's got to keep the Reaper down for a 10 count. That's right, a last man standing match. If you're unaware, you have to bring your opponent down for a 10 count. If your opponent gets back up, well, you got to get him back down again. You can see Mickey Mouse, despite that, is ready to go, ready to try and give the best performance he can. I don't rate his chances, though, quite frankly. But, you know, I've been proven wrong before and when it comes to these things. Maybe this will be the night that Mickey Mouse gets his first win. Here we go. Holy cow. The Reaper is here. Oh, my God. The Reaper has arrived and is ready to do battle. This is huge and incredibly bad news for Mickey Mouse. Quite frankly, uh, Mickey Mouse, the best, the best advice that I can give you, run, run for your life. Mickey Mouse is up against the Reaper. It, much like the public domain, comes for you in the end. The Reaper, who has destroyed so many in their way. The Reaper has beaten the likes of Hank, Aaron Storm, Herman. All the wrestlers that Mickey Mouse has struggled with have been mere obstacles in the line of the Reaper. And I have a feeling that Mickey Mouse will be just another victim for the Reaper. And the ref calls for the bell. The match begins. And look at this. Locking horns. Mickey Mouse with a takedown. Good work there. Taking down the Reaper. Reaper immediately getting back up. But Mickey is trying to suffocate the Reaper right now. And that is the best thing you can do in this situation. Try to ensure that the Reaper never gets a move in. Because the Reaper's going to absorb a lot of damage. But, if, but it won't matter if the Reaper can't get any damage in in return. Eventually, one of those straws will be the one to break the camel's back. Oh, nice uppercut there. And going for a neck breaker. Look at that. Mickey Mouse has got to keep up like this if he wants to win. Oh, the Reaper, though. Look at that. The Reaper already on his feet. And Mickey Mouse going in, trying to bring the Reaper down. DDT perfectly delivered right there. And Mickey has got to keep up like that. The referee making sure that the Reaper is going to stay down. Nope, there you go. The Reaper already getting back up. Would not have stayed down for the 10 count. Oh, right across the arm there. And again, the Reaper immediately getting back up. Mickey Mouse so far. Gone all the moves in the match. Now the Reaper's coming in. Oh, Mickey Mouse trying to hold the Reaper at bay here. Oh, good takedown there. And now, again, the Reaper rising to his feet. But Mickey Mouse ready to deal with the Reaper here. Oh, good God. Nice takedown there. But the Reaper is already rising back up once more. Look at this. Lovely work with that takedown. And now, again, though, the Reaper rising up. And it seems that Mickey Mouse can't think of anything to keep the Reaper down. Going for the arm here. Look at that torque on the shoulder. Very good work there by Mickey Mouse. Still, so far, I think this is the most offense that Mickey Mouse has gotten in a match. But you can see every time the Reaper immediately rising to his feet. Though, the, though Mickey right now is doing the strategy that I feel would do best for him. As he's so far been keeping the Reaper down. And as long as he can stop the Reaper from attacking, 
then he's still in a good spot. Look at this. That's very well calculated and executed by Mickey Mouse here. But the Reaper again rising to his feet. I don't think targeting the arm is the smartest way of doing this, but any damage is good in the long run, I suppose. Because at the end of the day, you know, you just got to take anything that you can get here. But again, the Reaper rising to his feet. And now punch to the midsection. And this could be a turning point here. Oh, right on the metal part of that ramp. And you can see that already Mickey Mouse... Had to take a moment there just to just to try and grit his teeth and bear it. Oh, God. That's concrete. Oh, back onto the steel again. Back of the head and the back crashing into that steel part of the ramp. And you can see the Reaper waiting for Mickey here. Oh, God. The Reaper knows exactly what they're doing in dealing with Mickey here. And now Mickey in trouble. Oh, across the arm. Mickey's once again rising back up. But wait a minute. Look at this going for the arm. And it looks like maybe the Reaper wanting to give Mickey a taste of his own medicine here. Wrenching on that arm. And now, look at this. The Reaper's actually walking away. As the referee starts this count. Count of three. You see Mickey stirring. And Mickey... Rising up at the count of four, and the Reaper waiting for Mickey here. Here we go. Mickey's rushing over, and begins throwing some rights, and goes for a DDT. You see right now Mickey Mouse in control. Irish whip into the ring, and looking for a weapon here. A last man standing match is no DQ, meaning that Mickey Mouse can use any weapons that he wants. Oh, bringing that kettle stick across the back. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was between the legs there. And again. The Reaper's back up. And look at that. Taking Mickey down. Oh, Mickey's going to pay. Look at this. Oh, back of the head with that curb stomp. And Mickey is down. And the referee once again begins counting. Just like that, this could be over. Well, referee keeping an eye on proceedings here to see if this is the end already for Mickey Mouse. And a count of seven, this looks like it's already going to be over. A count of eight, he's back up. Mickey Mouse has risen to his feet and the Reaper already choosing to punish Mickey here. A count of seven is really bad news. That means that Mickey is a lot closer to being taken out than I think any of us would have expected. And already the referee begins a count, but... Oh, Mickey is stirring. I think Mickey's going to get up. But you can see, Mickey might even just be considering for forfeiting here. Count of five. Mickey is rising back up. Mickey needed a second to breathe and took advantage of that count there. Oh, no. The Reaper with the kendo stick in hand. Is the Reaper going to once again give Mickey a taste of his own medicine? You can see the Reaper unsure, though. The Reaper certainly doesn't need the kendo stick. But you can see that the Reaper is considering whether or not to use it. Of course, right now, it looks like the Mickey might not even... Mickey, getting up at seven. Whoa, the Reaper dropped it. The Reaper decided against using it. And now Mickey going to punish the Reaper for that act of mercy. Bringing the Reaper back into the ring. And now... Look at this. Oh, didn't care about the count. Going for a sharpshooter here. Oh, man. Mickey pulling on the legs and easily plucked off there. Oh, look at this going again. He's going for it again, isn't he? No, wait a minute. Oh, he's giving Reaper a taste of his own medicine now. Look at this. Oh, good Lord. I can't believe what I've witnessed here. But the Reaper is down. You can see. Oh, Mickey thinks it's over. Mickey is certain that he has stopped out the competition here. 
And right now with no signs from the Reaper at the count of seven, it might very well be the case. A count of eight and the Reaper is back up. Oh, good uppercut there from Mickey Mouse. And again. And once again. And now Irish Whip over the ropes. Crashing down. And the referee begins counting once again. Look at this. This could be the turning point for Mickey Mouse here. The Reaper's stirring too much in my opinion. I don't think he's staying down. Meanwhile, Mickey Mouse standing tall in the center of the ring right now. Might be, oh, I was about to say might be closing in on his first win, but Reaper is already back up, ready to keep going. Snake Eyes into our LED board. That thing is expensive. We can't be having that be broken right here. Irish Whip back into the ring now. And the Reaper re-entering as the referee begins counting Mickey out once again. But the Reaper's not done. The Reaper's not done. And now the Reaper going for a chop shooter. This right now has been a case of these two trying to match each other move for move right now. This is very interesting. It's got to be said. But look at that. Oh now managing to pry the reaper off definitely the reaper had it on for longer though and that has got to be painful on the legs oh mickey there with a flip managing to dodge the reaper's moves and now taking the reaper down look at this going for the arm go for a cross face trying to wear down look at the torque there look at the torque there might be a shout out to the current vgiw men's world champion hanja chaya and there you see the reaper with the escape and now Mickey Mouse risen to his feet. Oh, taken into the corner. And now, oh, right across the face there with that stiff shot. And now the Reaper bringing down Mickey Mouse and not finishing yet. Going for the leg now. Going to make it harder to get back up by twisting the ankle, putting that pressure on the knee. That's very well done there by the Reaper. This isn't the Reaper's most vicious performance, it must be said. But the Reaper showing why they are one of the top wrestlers that VGIW has ever had by dominating Mickey Mouse right now. And the Reaper seems to be psyched up about this. Because it's not looking good for Mickey. Count of seven. Mickey's getting back up. Reaper is ready to strike once again. Belly to belly there from the Reaper. And again, the count begins once more. And look at that, the Reaper. Almost, damn, almost daring Mickey Mouse to get back up for more. Count of six. And there we see Mickey rising back up once again. Going for the arm. And look at this. Driving down. Good work there. Oh, wait a minute. Going for the legs. Could be going for a sharpshooter once again. Yes. Yes, there's the sharpshooter. And look at that. Making Mickey tap. That won't win the Reaper the match. But I think that's a sign that Mickey is done. If Mickey is tapping out, I think it's safe to say Mickey has run out of energy to compete. Count of four. Five. Okay, I think this is it. Six. Here we go. Surely this is the end. Seven. That's it. Uh, yep. He's not getting back up. Nine. This could be it. Ten. And the Reaper wins. Mickey only getting up now. Now that the match is over. I think Mickey in the end realized that he was up against an insurmountable force and just gave up. Crashing the skull down there in that replay. I think that's the thing. Every time Mickey tried to do a move, the Reaper would do it better. And in the end, it was just too much for Mickey Mouse. And that is what separates a wrestler like Mickey from a world champion. Thank you so much for watching this episode, this match here tonight. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos on the channel. 
and we hope to see you next time.